Hello everyone, welcome to Love and Lux. Today I'm going to do a review on my Juiced and Glue bracelet. Before I do, I'll go over what I'm wearing. Um, I'm wearing this dress from Go Factory. It's I've had it for a long time. And you probably can't see, but I'm wearing a um, belt from Hermes. It's black with gold hardware, just the classic H. Everyday jewelry, um, everyday watch. Um, my perfume I'm wearing is Bitter Peach. This is just the atomizer. I believe I showed... Um, the full size before and I mentioned if the perfume I'm wearing um, has an atomizer then I'll buy the atomizer for it. Um, it's convenient to throw it in your bag so that's what I'm wearing. And then on my lips I am wearing Tom Ford. No, <laughs> the perfume is Tom Ford. This is um, Bengali from Christian Louboutin. Um, it's like a berry color or like, a, I don't know, like a fuchsia, like a fuchsia berry type of color. Okay, and I mentioned I'm going to go over the Juice and Clue before I do that though, I'm going to go over something that I should have showed in another video that I did, which was my Van Cleef and Arpel. Um, I did the review on this Black Onyx Alhambra Brit necklace, and I didn't show this, what it came in. I showed the packaging and what I got with it, but I didn't show this, and that's because this was wrapped up on the shelf, and I forgot to grab this off the shelf when I did the video, so I'll show it now. So this is just the um, ribbon that was wrapped around the packaging, and it just says VCA and Van Cleef and Arpel. Um... The box is like a pearly white color and then it has green writing on it. It just says Van Cleef and Arpel on it. it. Looks like that. So it's the same velvety, um, it feels like suede. It's the same type of material that the, um, the necklace type of holder, the pouch that I showed. Um, it's the same thing, same sage green. Um, when you open it, it looks like this. Well, <laughs> let's do that again. When you open it, it looks like this. This part can come out, and then it's just empty at the bottom. So w initially when I got my necklace, I want to say it was inside of here. Um, there's this little pillowy thing that just says VCA on it. And the foiling is silver. There's this little plasticky thing here, and then it just says Van Cleef and Arpel. Okay, so I just wanted to show that because I realized um, after I made the video that I forgot to show this uh, part of the packaging. And like I said, I didn't, um, something on the box. I didn't show the packaging because I wasn't even thinking about it. It was um, wrapped up on the shelf. It was literally wrapped up with this, like sitting on the shelf. Okay, so we're going to do a review on the Juiced and Clue um, bracelet. I'll show what comes with it first. I'm using the back of the camera, so um, the back of my phone, to trying to make the videos wider instead of them being so narrow. So hopefully the video will be the full screen and hopefully you can hear me louder. Uh, we'll have to see how it turns out because I have no idea. But what I did was I put a mirror behind the camera. Um, I can't really see myself, but I can kind of like peep over to the side and see. <laughs> Anyways, when I did the, um, when I showed the love uh, ring that I got, I mentioned the receipt booklet. They were out of the receipt booklet. But this is what the receipt booklet looks like. Some of the receipt booklets, it says um, Cartier at the bottom too. This one only says it in the front. Um... Here's another one. Oh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't say it in the back either, so I don't know what I'm talking about, but whatever. <laughs> so this is the booklet <clears throat> for your receipt. And I got my Juiced and Clue May 4th of 2019. So this is what it looks like inside. So you got the business card of the sales associates. Sales associates at, um, <clears throat> yeah, three sales associates at um, Cartier, um, two at the Palo Alto store and one at the San Francisco store. And yeah, so this is what it looks like on your receipt. You also have your um, authenticity um, number, your serial number that's on the jewelry. And let me see what I could show without showing all my information. This is my second time trying to fill this, film this today. So hopefully this one turns out, this video turns out pretty good. Okay, so um, it doesn't say juice and clue. It just says bracelet yellow gold. And then it has the reference number and an individual number. Um, so back then, what day did I say it was? May 4th of 2019, the bracelet was $6,800. Um, with tax, and I believe in San Francisco, the tax is 10%. Back then, I want to say it was 10%. And it was, uh, the tax amount was 5000 No, it wasn't. <laughs> $5,000 for tax. It was, um, the bracelet itself was $6,800, right? 6800 But the tax was 5000 the tax was $578. So altogether, $7,378. And yeah, I'm pretty sure the price 
has gone up because this was a long time ago. Like I said, this was back in 2019. Um, I'll try to cover up some of this information and show what I can. There. I don't know how much of that y'all gonna be able to see, but that's what it looked like. Um, the certificate of authenticity just looks like this. And then this one is the one that says cardio on the back at the bottom. I don't know why I thought it was this. So that's the back. This is the front. And um, the serial number and the date. There's another number at the bottom, so I'm just going to cover that up too. But that's what it looks like. The one that I got from my love ring recently, the paper is white. It's, it's not this color anymore. Okay. We'll go over the packaging. This is a little travel um, pouch. The one that I got from my love bracelet is a lot thinner. This one is uh, thicker and it has a lot more cushion in it. I'll show the two boxes because one of my boxes I got with the uh, love bracelet, which I had the love bracelet before the Juiced and Clue. That's what this one is. And then this one is the one for the Juiced and Clue. Um, he said, because I'm growing my collection, he'll give me a bigger box. So I'll show you guys the difference in the two boxes. Um, first, I'll show you the box that I got for the love bracelet. You hear the screwdriver rattling around? <laughs> and I'll do... I'm, I'm going to do a review on the love bracelet also. This is just the screwdriver it came with. Um, yeah, so that's what the box looks like for the love bracelet. And maybe your juice and glue comes in this too. I'm not sure because he gave me a different box for the juice and glue. So I'll show the one that he gave me. And yeah, this box is um, bigger. So I'll try to hold it up together so you guys can see. This is what they look like at the bottom. And then on the back. So the one for the one that he gave me for my juice and clue is this one right here. I think he said this was the one they usually give you for watches, but I'm not sure. I can't remember. It just has the gold foiling and then it has the little pillow that goes inside. Um, I never use this stuff. I think I mentioned that before. The stuff that, all the little extra stuff they give you, I never even use it. Okay, so, and of course you get the cleaning kit, blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't just buy, um, I don't just get jewelry from them, so I don't even know, like, what package this, I don't know what, um, <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what, um, what, what box this came in. I have no idea. And of course I already showed the cleaning kits. There's two of them, what they look like. They're both exactly the same. There's some more from other stuff that I bought. So, um, let me see. Since I have it here, I'll show the difference between um, the thicker packaging or the thicker travel pouch that he gave me for the Juiced and Clue versus the thinner one that I got with my love bracelet. The love bracelet, the one for the love bracelet does look bigger, but this one has a lot more cushion. So you can see how thin this one is compared to this one. Both of them are exactly the same and velvety, but this one has a lot more cushion in it. And like I said, I don't know, the box he gave me, I think it's for watches originally. Um, so maybe that's why this one has more cushion in it. Maybe this is for carrying around your watch or something. I'm not sure. Um, but they both look exactly the same. One is just a lot thicker than the other one. So that's that. So now I'm going to take this off and see if I can get close-ups. Um, and then I'll also put the price. I mentioned the price and what I paid, or my husband bought this for me. So I mentioned the price and what he paid for this back in 2019. And I'll put the, I don't know what they cost now, but I'll put the new price on the screen. Um, so you guys can see the side-by-side -side comparison. What the, what it cost back in 2019 and then what it costs um, today. So um, it opens and closes. There's a lever at the bottom. So right up under here, let me turn it around. So right up under here, you have to push up. 
and that's how it opens. Inside of here, so the nail head is here, but inside of this part, like on the back side, uh, it says Cartier in very, very small writing. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that or what you can see because the back of the camera is facing me, so I have no idea what this is going to turn out, what this video is going to be like. Um, and then on the underside, so um, underneath here, so this part, but at the bottom, it has... Um, Cartier 15, which I'm pretty sure it's size 15. It has a serial number, and then it says AU, I think it says AU 750, and then it has some type of symbol. Um, it's, the writing is way too small. I'm not even gonna try to see all that, but I believe the 15 means that this is a size 15. And I didn't go in and ask for a size 15. That's the size they gave me, and I believe it was based on the size um, love bracelet that I have, because I had got this one first. Um, and for the love bracelet, I got the classic size. You measure your wrist, and then you go up is it one centimeter, I think? Because you got to give um, room for the screws that go in on each side. So this is just the classic um, Juice and Clue. And um, basically the classic fit. Um, and it matches up with the Love Bracelet. One is usually a little bit bigger. One's a little bit smaller. So I believe one is a 16 and one is a 15. I'm assuming this is a 16. And then this is a 15. <laughs> it can get confusing. So I'm not really sure. But yeah, this is a 15. Um, so yeah, this is just the yellow gold, classic size, classic fit. Um, I didn't clean it or anything. Um, I just said I'm going to do this video. And I usually really don't get my jewelry cleaned. Um, whenever I go into the store, I'm usually in there because I'm buying something and I get what I need and that's it. Um, the only piece of jewelry that I ever did have cleaned so far was the Trinity silk cord bracelet. I'm going to do a review on that one. So when you take the Trinity silk cord bracelet in to get your cord replaced, um, a lot of the times they'll clean the little rings for you before they put a new cord on there. And I heard of that um, they're only given black cords now. Correct me in the comment section if I'm wrong because I have no idea. That's just what I heard from other YouTubers. And so, yeah, I'll do a review on that one, the Trinity cord bracelet. Um, if you guys want to see a review, let me know in the comment section. But I do plan on doing a review on the love bracelet as well um, and trying to show close-ups and wear and tear. Uh, I do recommend the Juice and Clue bracelet. Um, I've never had any problems with it falling off, opening up. I've heard people have problems with some of theirs back in the day, or maybe it has something to do because it, with the mechanism, the way it opens and closes. I'm not sure, but I've never had any problems with mine. I recommend it if you're not a bracelet person. Uh, from the Juice and Clue um, section from Cartier, they have necklaces, earrings, um, different size earrings, different kinds of earrings, different necklaces. Um, what else? Rings, earrings, necklaces, bracelets. I'm not sure what else they have from Juice and Clue, but they have a lot of stuff um, that you can pick and choose from. And so, yeah, I think that's it. Hopefully, I'm not leaving out anything, but I just wanted to do a review on this Juice and Clue bracelet. Uh, mine is just in the yellow gold. Um, I think I mentioned it before that the industry standard for gold from the luxury brands is 18 karat. Um, and I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter if it's rose gold, yellow gold, or white gold. Um, but yeah, this is the um, classic size. Just in clue, no diamonds or anything like that. I just wanted it to be plain because it, it will match my everyday lifestyle. Um, I don't really have a fancy lifestyle, so my lifestyle is very laid back. But in the event that I do want to wear um, diamonds, um, in case I do have like a fancier occasion, um, I, I have a diamond tennis bracelet. So I guess I'll grab that and show you guys what that looks like when I wear that. So give me just a second and then I'll be right back. Okay, so it's hard to do this because I'm just looking at the back of the camera. So hopefully um, this is turning out okay. But this is my diamond tennis bracelet. It I think I showed it before, but I didn't review it or anything. If you guys want me to, I'll review this one as well. Um, it's just a 12 karat diamond tennis bracelet. And the diamonds are champagne diamonds, which are my favorite. Um, so I'm going to put it on real quick so you guys can see what it looks like when I stack it. This thing is hecka secure. <laughs> the little thing on the side that you use to open it. I'm scared I'm gonna break my nail trying to get this thing open. There it goes. Um, I forgot what I was saying. 
Anyways, this is a 12 karat diamond tennis bracelet. It's champagne diamonds. Champagne diamonds are my favorite. And sometimes I'll change out my rings and wear like diamond rings and stuff like that, which some of, I think one of them I've shown in a video before. So that's what it looks like when it's just this one. And it's dirty. I haven't even cleaned it because I rarely, I don't really wear it that much. Um, and then I'll show with the juice and clue on. And I like to layer it in the middle. I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see that. But yeah, this is how I stack. The diamonds don't really match my lifestyle. And the watch is different. But, um... And I didn't want the diamond bezel, you know what I mean? Because I feel like it's kind of like too fancy and too much for my everyday lifestyle. So something like this is perfect because I can take the diamonds off when I just want to have just the everyday, just plain gold. And then when I do want to elevate my look, if there is a reason for me to wear diamonds or whatever, you know, on a fancy occasion, or you going out to a nice dinner or whatever, then um, I put this on with it. Not even all the time, just sometimes. So that's what that looks like. So that's it. That's all. Um, I hope you liked the video. I just wanted to do a um, review on the Justin Clue bracelet, the just the classic Justin Clue bracelet in yellow gold. And um, I recommend it. I like it. I've had it for several years. Sometimes um, I take the Love bracelet and the Justin Clue bracelet off, and I don't wear it for a few months. And then sometimes I wear it for a year or two straight, and it doesn't bother me to wear it um, and not take it off. That's what I love about it, which is why I like to get. Um, you know some of my stuff without diamonds in it but um yeah that's it that's all hopefully this video was able to help somebody um and that's it bye